Konnichiwa. This is the uh, starting to be socially distant again, Shogunstein. And this is just some initial thoughts and an overview of the ancient Greek polis themed game Korra. Polis is ancient Greek for city state, if you remember from uh, world history. And just say hypothetically, uh, the Shogunstein has a side hustle that involves world history. If you remember, the Greeks were not united. They were uh, separate polises, city-states, separated by oceans and mountains. And other than when the, the Persians came, they didn't always get along. And uh, eventually, you know, the Peloponnesian War will happen between Athens and Sparta. And in this game, you can play as Athens and you can play as Sparta, but we know that eventually they'll have the Peloponnesian War, and Alexander the Great's father, Philip of Macedonia, will come through with the Macedonians and take over the Greek polises. Philip II will be... Sorry, Philip II was uh, from Spain. Philip of Macedonia will be assassinated. Alexander will become the ruler, and then he is going to... Uh, take on uh, ancient Egypt. He's going to go all the way to India and most famously conquered the Persians, who he was not a fan of. So thematically, um, you have that at the end of the game. You'll see the conquest of the Persians, and Persepolis was the uh, capital of the Persian Empire, burned down either intentionally or accidentally by Alexander and his soldiers when they had a pretty uh, drunken party when they took the, the city. So when you play this game, you're going to have these event cards, and the first event will always be growing populations, and the end will be the conquest of the Persians. Aiello did a very nice uh, component setup here. You have very nice uh, components here, good quality cards. Uh, the board is nice. Uh, the artwork is very nice. You get a uh, really nice insert to organize everything, so that came out well, and the instruction book was very good as well. The instructions were good, and they have a nice uh, watch it played with Rodney to learn how to play the game, which was uh, very good, and then there is a, a before you play video also that I felt was very good. They're both on the same channel. The game itself is more abstract than the theme would look there's a lot of uh going up in columns and in many ways that's uh what i feel like when you play this game uh in terms of uh colorblind issues as you know the shogunstein likes to focus on colorblind issues in games the game is the icons are very clear and the colors are very good so everything has um, icons and uh, different colors. So for those people who are colorblind, uh, you can use the icons and don't have to rely on the color. Everything in this game is labeled very clearly, and you'll see on your player board the, the turns. Uh, you don't even need a player aid because the player board very clearly explains all the different turns in the game. It's very easy to follow. It's very easy to follow the icons. The only color issue that I had was actually on the player boards. I had a hard time matching up the color on the playing player boards with the actual pieces. But that actually really does not affect the game at all. Little Shogunstein noticed that I'd given out the wrong player boards. Each city has... Uh, different abilities. Some are end game scoring. Some are uh, throughout the game with the infinity signs. Some are instant. So again, to try to be a little more thematic, some of the different cities, the different polices have different uh, uh, actions that you can gain that kind of reflect a little bit a little of the, the history of those, those cities. So that's uh, a nice little feature. And again, the icons are very well laid out. They, it's very clear once you watch it played and once you uh, learn what the symbols are, it's a very easy game to, to follow. So you follow the, the steps 
and uh, it plays uh, very, uh, it's, it's a very uh, well laid out system. Especially once you get past that first game where you watch it, it becomes very easy to to play. So there really isn't a big learning curve. Um, and at the end, it's a little bit of a point salad here. So the game is more abstract than the theme would would leave you to believe. Um, Little Shogunstein, did you like the game? Yeah. Little Shogunstein liked it. It's really good with uh, combos because you're going to look at the strength of your polis. And in the beginning of the game, you're going to be drafting these politics cards. So you may want to draft certain politics cards that work with your Polis's ability, especially your start ability. Everyone's going to have different start abilities. And then during your turn, you're going to have one of six actions. And then as you move up, you can get a third dice. Dice, I'm over here now. Uh, you get a third dice, which will give you an extra action, which is very important. And then as you move up, it's going to be important to increase the different things, the tax, your income, your glory, which is going to affect um, your endgame scoring and uh, your military, your troops for all these, these conquering. So it is a little bit of a point salad. Now, as someone who may have a side hustle involving history, I was drawn to the theme, but I got to be honest with you, to me, it is kind of themeless. It really doesn't feel like I'm playing a Greek-themed game. This game, in my opinion, could be themed with, with anything. So some people have suggested that maybe if this game is successful, that they could add other empires to this system because again kind of like uh uh seinfeld you know it's uh themeless right the reason that certain shows on tv um you know are, are still funny years later is they don't necessarily uh have a super topical theme they don't get outdated so this i i can see them easily be able to expand to different civilizations um it plays uh at two players it plays pretty quick Little Shogunstein liked it because he really does like doing combos, especially as you move things up, play certain cards. You can, you know, move across, you know, on, on the, the final scoring track. He likes doing those kinds of things. So for players like that, it's, uh, it's going to be a good game. For me, who really likes theme, I was a little disappointed that it just really didn't feel, despite, you know, references to... Uh, ancient Greece. It didn't really feel like I was playing a, an ancient Greek game. So let's say, you know, a, a year from now, they, they added the, the Mongols or they added the, the Romans. It wouldn't, to me, feel any different other than maybe some different pictures. So excellent production. Um, again, uh, as a colorblind player, I found the game, other than the colors on top of the player board, I found it very easy as a colorblind player. The components are excellent. The rule book is, is very easy to follow, but Ayel did invest in uh, getting Rodney to do a watch it played, which was very helpful. The rules are very logical. It's, you know, again, A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, G. And again, the symbol is very easy to follow. Sometimes, again, you know, the only thing that might throw, you know, this order a little bit is, you know, what the... Uh, event card reveal. So for instance, the first event card doesn't go in the event resolution. It'll be in the, the beginning. So other than those couple of, of cards that, that may happen, it's a very, you know, linear, very easy to follow, logical game. Is it fun? Yeah, it, it's fun. I certainly enjoyed uh, playing it with little Shogunstein, and again, it uh, becomes more fun, especially once you get used to the icons and you're used to this turn order. I just uh, was surprised that it's more abstract than I thought it would be, and it just uh, doesn't feel like a historical game, in my opinion. The MSRP on this, we got this as a holiday gift, uh, so I want to thank the person that gave it to me as a holiday gift. The MSRP on this is $50. So again, you're getting... A really nice insert, you're getting really nice player boards, you're getting good quality uh, cards. Um, so component-wise, you're getting good components. To me, is this a $50 game? I don't know. I don't know if I would run out 
and get this game for $50. If you have someone in your game group that has it, then that's awesome. Or maybe your game group, you know, uh, everyone splits in. I don't think you need multiple copies of this. I see if you see this at a swap meet or a seller's market for, you know, 20 20 bucks, 25 bucks, yeah, then it's definitely worth it. Is it worth $50? To me, I don't know about that. I don't know if I would have pay, pay $50 for it. But again, with ILO, you do get high quality components. So overall, um, we did think it was fun and it's logical. And uh, if you like doing combos and you kind of like point salad ish, uh, you're going to like it. I just would have liked it to feel a little more like I was in the. Uh, Greek polises fighting the Peloponnesian wars, getting ready for uh, Philip of Macedonia to, to sweep in or defending the Persians. So this is the Shogunstein, little Shogunstein, out.